my intent in staying storybook, it was for minorities, blacks, Africans, and anybody else who, who would not be able to, who thought we couldn't do these things to say it's okay, we can do them and it's okay to do them. What I liked about my industry was outside the building. Inside the building, you had to deal with the politics and the race issues and all that sort of stuff. And so, and I wanted them to be able to respect us. Those are the battles that I was fighting inside the building. And what allowed me to stay was that the community supported me. At that time, weathercasters, female weathercasters, were were doing weather in a way that they would grab the public's attention by playing ukuleles and doing all little silly and absurd things. So I didn't want to do it, but they prevailed upon me, and I agreed, and I loved it afterwards, and became a television weathercaster. They had all of the pictures of the broadcast team in the lobby of Channel Two. And I had this big picture of me, you know, hey, you know, smiling, 20-something year old kid, you know. I received, uh, I think, a phone call or a letter, hey, we're considering you as, you know, a position as host, co-host of Ebony Jet Showcase. The General Motors and Ford companies will meet with the president of the UAW and his marketing teams. The union gave up concessions worth $4 billion in the last major contract talks back in 1982. If you are watching us today, the reality is, is that by next Wednesday, and again, this is live, by next Wednesday, this station could be off of the air. And when we start producing really good programs, mm -hmm. that's when they pull the plug on. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that was right, the old administration, the old, okay. old um, sunship. Mm -hmm. And now to come here and see this kind of revamp itself again, mm -hmm. it really, you know, puts a, a damper on my heart. Mm -hmm.